the fourth chapter of Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus that we call Ephesians. Hi. If you have it, say amen. Amen. If it was standing in your presence, you would find these words penned, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope I'm not reading too fast. Verse 4 closes where I'll stop. Says, there is one body yes. and one spirit, yes. even as ye are called in one hope yes. of your call. Yes. I have to pick up verse 5. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more. One faith, yes, sir. Yeah. one baptism. Can I please read six? Thank you. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. Can I read one? But unto every one of us is given grace. Somebody ought to shout it there. According to the measure of the gift of Christ. Amen. Amen. I just want to deal with your theme for a minute, the portraits of a godly woman. Amen. Sonia Chapman, you made it come. But let me see if I can pull up something from somewhere to help me out. On this most prestigious and precious day in our church history, we celebrate 100 women in white. We find ourselves in the backdrop of an America that does not know if it wants to be Mother Teresa come on. or a member of the Bad Girls Club. Come on, come on. <laughs> Reality TV of desperate housewives that has now migrated to housewives of Miami, well, New Jersey, well, Beverly Hills, well, New York, well, and of course, Atlanta. Well, we are witnessing the, Bra the Braxton family values where women rather be Tamar than Winnie Mandela. Come on, come on, come on. We even had a brief glimpse into a pastor's wives yeah. called the Sisterhood. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I agree <laughs> with the latter, it was good. <laughs> I don't know about sisters, but they were good. We are allowing the media to set the desires for women from seeking God to seeking gold. When more African American women in this country know Lene Lakes, Candy Burris, Cynthia Bailey, Sandra Parks, Kenya Moore, right. Portia Williams, yeah. Deshaun Snow, yeah. and Sherry yeah. Whitfield. Yeah. You know who they are, those yeah. are the housewives yeah. 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 of Atlanta. Yeah. When they know them more and have more knowledge of Beyonce and Oprah, right. the same Oprah that when her hair was nappy loved Jesus. Uh -huh. Now she can buy your ass, sew it in the back of hers, and you can't yeah. tell the difference. Now she has migrated away from Jesus. Yeah. Now she stands to say Jesus is not the only way to right, salvation. Right, right, right. She now stands to say there are many paths. Yes. She has a private guru yeah. and is lost Amen. but claims that she's Christian. Right. Right. All right. Her hope is moving further away and she's dragging a lot of us a lot, side. A lot. When more of us know those than we know who Abigail, right. the mother of Amos and the sister of David. Go ahead, go ahead. 
More of us know about those women than Anna, the aged Jewish prophetess who prophesied about Jesus at the temple in Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More of us know about them than we know about Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah, yes. the Hittite, on, yes. who David on one solemn evening peered over yonder's porch and yes. seen her. More of us don't know that she's also the mother of Solomon, the yeah, wisest right, man that ever right. lived. None of us know who Cosby is, the Mennonite princess who killed Phineas, the grandson of Aaron, yes. because of the evil influence that was seen as a source of a plague among the Israelites. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't right. know who Deborah is, the prophet is in the fourth and the right. only female right. judge uh -huh. in the pre-monarchic Israel. Some of you do know Delilah because you're looking for a man who's had to cut yourself. Ah! Most of you don't know who Dinah is, the daughter of Jacob, one of the patriarchs of the Israelites, and Leah, the first wife. Yes. Esther, the queen of the Persian Empire, Eunice, the mother of Timothy, Eve, the first woman born and the wife of Adam, Goma, the wife of Hosea, a prostitute who God loved so much, he sent the man of God out to get Hagar, the Egyptian handmaid, the friend of Sarah, but the bosom mate of Abraham. Yes, sir. Hannah, yes, sir. the prophet, is the citizen of Jerusalem, yes. the mother of Samuel, yes. the one who can get a prayer through. Jediah, the wife of the wicked king, Manasseh, the mother of Josiah. Yes. You don't know about those folks who are too busy yes. trying to keep up with the divas that are the darlings of today's yes. world. Yes. Most of you don't know who Jochebed is, the mother of Moses and his hand Mary. Go ahead. Don't know Leah, the first wife of Jacob, the one who gave him most of the tribes of Israel. Yes. Yes. Don't know Martha, who was also the cousin of Mary, but also the mother of John the yes. Baptist. Yes. Mary Magdalene, the disciple of Jesus, found in the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and found her way in the book of John also. Yes. Don't know Miriam, the sister of Moses, the yes. one because she had the audacity to talk about the wife of Moses. God gave her a late night sick call right, and the right. prayers of the man of God right. cleaned her up. You right. only know what you know about it. I'm trying to get you to know that there are some things that God wants women to know about if you are going to be the portrait my, of a godly my, woman. My, my. Godly women can't spend so much time with TV that they don't know the women of the Bible. Come on, come on. Don't know Oprah, but you know Oprah, but she was a sister of Ruth and she knew how to get a prayer through. Don't know the wife of El Tanai, Pinnai. Don't know Phoebe, don't know Priscilla, don't know Rachel, don't know much about Rebecca. Yeah, don't yeah. know Ruth, but you better find your Boaz. Well, Why you running around trying to get a boo? Ruth said you better find a boy, yeah. a man of substance right. that can drop a little something off for you every now and again. Yeah. You better understand that there was a Tamar in the Bible too. She's the daughter-in-law of Judah, as well as the mother of two of the children, the twins, Zara and Perez, and they only mean praise. If you really get come down on, in your study, on. you come will on. understand that Perez is praise. It's yeah. God's holy word. You would understand who Zilphi was, Leah's handmaid, who also had children to drop off. You would know Zipporah, the wife of Moses, yes. the black woman that you have no business talking about. Come but on, God now. will visit you when you Lord. talk about the pastor's wife. Lord. If Mary and Aaron was here, they would tell you, be careful about talking about the pastor's right, wife. Right, right. God showed up and there's three pastors right here and I tell you, don't worry about what they say. Yeah. Just be ready to pray for them when they come to you with the pause. Yes, sir. I just want to stop and talk about a woman that I found to be a portrait of a godly woman. I could have stopped in Zion Hill and picked up Ann Nichols and told you I have a portrait yeah. of a godly woman yeah. that I can hear on the day yeah. they think. I could have stopped by and told you you missed the portrait of a godly woman born in Anniston, Alabama, went home to visit Jesus in Cleveland, Ohio, by the name of Carrie Lucy Ohio. Yeah. I've seen the portrait painted by the blood-stained yeah. battle of my Lord and Savior. I know what godly women look like. By the way, if you look to right there, you'll see the one that is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. And for this cause, the Bible says, shall a man leave mother yeah. and father, yeah. cleave her to her and twain, and they will become as one flesh. Quit letting folk call you boo if they don't have a ring. Yeah, come on, y'all. 
But I found in this Bible a godly portrait of a woman. Yeah. The Old Testament contains many role models for us. Great men like Noah, Abraham, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, David, yeah. and Daniel. But great women were also found there. Yeah. And this one woman who stood out in me in 1 Samuel, verse 1, chapter 1, verses 2 through 10. Yes, sir. I found this woman that sometimes you'll come to church and when it's time for us to lift up that baby and position the baby mm, to right. dedicate that child back right, to God, right, it is right. a testament to what she did. Right. This woman whose womb was locked up, but God opened it up. Open it up. Some of you need to know that God has locked up some things on you that you shouldn't be looking for the key for. Come on, God. Some of y'all running around looking for the key to treasures that God is not ready to expose right yeah. now. Some of you gave your key away. That's the re It's wonderful role model of a woman of faith today is Hannah, the mother of Samuel, one of the greatest prophets of Israel, whose story is told in the first two chapters of 1 Samuel. Yes. This is a very simple reading of the material of the two chapters, we can glean several lessons from Hannah, a woman of faith. For example, when you look at it, the first thing I seen was women of faith endure real problems. Yeah, that's right. She has a problem. All right. Too many women come to church, think because you parked on a pew that you have paradise as your porthole. Well, well, well. You think because you've given your hand to the preacher, that now life has become the proverbial bed of roses. Well, well. I stop to tell you that because you have assigned yourself to faith, there are some tests, trials, and tribulations you must right. go through. Yeah. If this woman could stand in our presence, she would say, I've had some problems. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Her womb was closed by the Lord. Right. First Samuel, you find that in verses 1 through 5, that God closed yes. her womb. Yes. Her womb was not closed by some of the things she did. Good, good, good. All right. That's good. Please some stop. of us, are, we have closed birth canals because of our own behavior. Yeah. Yeah. We have no way to be productive in church because we have closed off the birth canal. All right, all right. The birth canal to God being able to use you to his glory in church. Yeah. Too many angry women come into church and that's the reason you can't be productive at church. Come on. Sure. You got too many ghosts in your closet. Well, that's well. the reason you come in here angry when you smell a certain cologne. But baby girl, <laughs> he's gone. And every once in a while, you got to be like the man has. You just need to tell him, let's just bye, kiss bye, 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 and bye. Say, goodbye. say goodbye. There are certain things that God has said have been closed up, and you need to let go of them. Yes. There are some folk you waiting on, and I stopped by here to tell you they're not coming. Well, all right. All right. <laughs> not coming. Hey. There was some problems that she had, but God closed her womb not to keep it closed, but because he didn't want it to be utilized until the season was yeah, right. Yeah. But what I really noticed about it is that she was provoked by her rival. Right, her rival. Verses yeah. 6 and 8 said her adversary. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. reason some of you can't get anything done in church is because of your adversary. Come on. That woman that shows up, you know how she does. Everything you don't have, she does have, and right. she don't mind letting you know she got it. Right, right, yeah, yeah. You barefooted and she's talking about her red bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't keep a man and she's disrespecting her. Yeah. But the conversation is, is hers, baby girl. You can blab it and grab it. But it still don't belong to you. Well, well, well. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. She had an adversary. You know, I'm sure when she was praying for a baby, she was like, girl, my stomach hurt. Huh. Ooh, we, I'm having a cramp right now. Can you rub my belly for me? You know, when you can't have a child, it seems like everybody around you have kids. 
And here she was. She wanted what somebody else had, and God told her it ain't your seat. Come on, let's see. Somebody ought to say it ain't my seat. If you want to be a wife, quit running around chasing men. For the Bible declares that the man that findeth a wife. 